In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a sticky menu in Elementor. And the sticky menu is one that follows a visitor down the page as they scroll. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you're not yet subscribed, consider subscribing because I'm always sharing new tricks, new WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and stuff to make your life easier using WordPress. So click the subscribe button, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like Elementor, you're gonna like this. I'm currently building the ultimate Elementor course. It's gonna be a bargain. There's a link down below to get on the waiting list. So click on that link, get on the waiting list, and you get more details while you're on there. And check out our Facebook group where we chat WordPress, help each other get better at WordPress. Link in the description down below, join that free Facebook group. And with that out of the way, let's get into this Elementor tutorial. I'll see you in the screen capture. With Elementor, you can now create the header up at the top with your menu and logo and everything like that, and the footer at the bottom of the page within the plugin. You don't need to mess with the template files anymore. You can do this right in the plugin. But what it hasn't been able to do up until today and up until you watch this is make the header menu or the whole header bar sticky as in it follows you down the page. So right now it just stays there because I don't have the feature activated, but you'll be able to make this sticky by doing the steps I show you in this video. If you head into the dashboard, in my case, I used an Elementor template. I created a special header template to create that header. So I'm gonna to go to that template by going to Elementor and My Templates. And if you have a lot, you can either click on Header to filter just for the header templates, or if it's right here, you can just click on Edit with Elementor right here. It's a lot faster sometimes. And our header's at the top right here. I'm gonna click on this little Edit section area right here and then we have our menu options over here changed to apply to that section we click on advanced and we go to scrolling effect we can turn sticky on right there and now you can choose where it's sticky you can have it sticky on all devices as in desktop tablet or mobile or just choose a subset of those you can just x to get rid of it or click it to add it or start typing it in and it will start to Populate this menu down here, click on the menu, adds it in. If we click on update after turning the sticky option on, then we head out to the site here and refresh the page and begin to scroll, nothing happens. So let's try a hard refresh. Command Shift R or Control Shift R on Windows. And now when we scroll, we see that the header menu follows us. So for me, it took a hard refresh. Sometimes it's just a regular refresh that works. Sometimes you have a caching plug installed in your site whose cache you have to clear before this works. Sometimes you have to try in a different browser, especially if you're using Google Chrome, because Chrome has a serious caching issue where it caches everything, and it's really hard to clear the cache sometimes. Or sometimes you got to try incognito mode. Um, anyway, there's a bunch of things that can cause this change to sticky header to not function properly, and caching is definitely one of those things you got to watch out for. But with that simple option, we now have a sticky header on our site using Elementor and the header templates. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, get on the Elementor waiting list, get on the Facebook page, and hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. Click the bell icon. And next up is clicking one of the videos on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.